Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari, and I am a fun and safe psychic medium who helps people awaken. Um, okay, all the cards are shuffled. Uh, we don't have a specific theme or question or anything. We're just going to see what Spirit wants to tell us. So I'm just going to put all the cards where they need to be at. Um... And I shuffle this too, but just in case. So we're going to be using um, Seasons of the Witch, Shamanic's Oracle, the Oracle of Shadows and Light uh, from the beautiful, um, what is it called? Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Creatures uh, series, uh, <clears throat> Sacred Rebels Oracle, which is Wisdom Oracle. And the tarot is going to be Nicoletta Ciccoli. All right. <clears throat> All right. Very good. So, current energy. <clears throat> Coming of winter. And it's card number 11. It comes, oh my gosh. This means, the only thing is that the letters are so small. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Also, it has a time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming hmm. okay so winter um winter is about kind of resting uh time you know it's where some animals hibernate so everything kind of slows down the days are shorter at least in you know in the uh in the northern hemisphere because at that time is is um summer in the southern hemisphere but yeah winter always has whether wherever hemisphere your winter is on the days are shorter um of course it's cold people don't like to move all that much to preserve energy uh or go outside or do stuff so she also has wheat on her hand um kind of um hiding it and wheat um wheat is about life wheat is about nourishment um so why is she hiding it i'm not sure maybe she's just kind of preserving it um she's also looking out the window so she is inside looking out so we need to keep that in mind Um, so it's kind of a more quiet, more subtle, more, you know, kind of energy, right? Um, all right. Um, hmm. So, this is like the chariot energy. Um, but, you know, the chariot, well, it's number seven, and it's major arcana, so it's the chariot. But the chariot um, usually has two horses. So the movement he and, and this is n not a real horse, you know, it's a toy horse, although it's on wheels, so it can move. Uh, 
so I think that there's some movement, but not a whole lot. It was also in the reverse. So Chariot is also success and victory. So let's see, let's see um, how this plays out. And again, that doesn't mean that it's not coming. It means that it's not here just yet, okay? Oh, two major arcanas in a row. And this is the 19, so is, um, what is it? <sighs> I always forget that. It's not justice. It's judgment. It's judgment. No, 19. Hold on. Judgment. Oh, 19. Uh, 19 is the sun. 19 is the sun. Um, yeah. 19 is the sun. Um, and she, she's almost like the sun. She's attracting all the bees. She's, she's the sun and she's a beehive. That is so interesting because, you know, so, so this slow movement to victory and success, you know, it's going to happen because the sun is all about happiness. It's all about wish fulfillment. It's all about attracting the good thing because we were talking about how wheat is life, right? You make food out of it. You make bread. You make all your, you know, starches with the wheat. Um, and so that energy goes very well with with the chariot not moving because it's like a it's like the slow energy of the winter right and sometimes for some animals it's just standing still it's like putting them on pause for a while but then you come back to spring you know you have the 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 flowers blooming and all the bees and the bees are life that's why i went back to the wheat uh, because without the bees, the planet, the planet will die within like four years, I think they say. So, so you're gonna, you're gonna get momentum, you know, there's a slow moving energy at the beginning, but then you obviously succeed in whatever you're doing because you reach the sun very, very early on in the, in the reading and then this is the, the 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 one of of the ace of wands um and the ace of wands is a new beginning but it's um very um like in a new job or something uh passion something that you're passionate about but this isn't but it's in the reverse so there's some um I want to say um, resistant to it, some resistant to that new beginning. Okay. What is the unexpected angel of alchemy miracle? So there's going to be some miracles happening that you're, that you're going to be surprised by. Now we have miracles around every day. Okay. Every single, the day itself is a miracle that we are here is a miracle. The things that have to happen. For each of us to have been born and not the next sperm, <laughs> you know, it's a miracle in itself. Everything that has to happen in your mo mother's body and in her womb for us to come out full and complete and, and functional, it's a miracle. Every day, how everything works so perfectly, you know, the sun in the morning, the moon at night, you know, it's just... And, and, you know, if you think about it, it's it's mind boggling. So we have miracles every day. And when we talk about miracles, people expect humongous things. 
like somebody walking on water or turning water into wine, right? Um, but there's going to be miracles. And if you're looking for them and expecting them, don't wish for them, don't wait for them, expect them and they will happen. And, and you can ask for a sign from your, from your guys, from your angels to, to recognize the miracles. But I think just because it's telling us, we're going to be able to identify it, right? And this, this is number 21, which is one of my favorite numbers. It's also, if we think about the major arcana, which we have two of here, uh, is the world card. So it's all about closing um, cycles, right? But it also has the one, which is the self or the new beginning, the two, which is the partnership and the three, which is the empress energy or, or that uh, energy that's created with the partnership, whatever partnership this may be, okay? And it can be with your higher self also, okay? So there's the unexpected is that you're going to get some miracles. And we have the eight of swords. We got the eight of swords in yesterday's reading too. And I can remember that very clearly for some reason. Um, so it's almost like this energy is completely different to the other uh, deck that I was using uh, yesterday. And she's giving me um, almost like a fear uh, feeling. Um, like, but also protection. Um, the eight is that figure of a woman that's surrounded by by the swords and she's blindfolded and she's tied up so it's about being stuck but she doesn't look like she's stuck she's look like she's afraid so are you going to be afraid of these miracles are you going to be afraid and uh, looking for protection you know that you're not alone ever and you're always protected uh, you're protected by the universe, you're protected by your guides, you're protected by your angels. You're just protected. Um, so let's see. And well, and this is in the past position, so you felt like that. And right now, you're feeling just as bad. Uh, well, not necessarily. So this one came in the reverse and it's like Alice in Wonderland with that little bunny right there. So I'm trying to get the energy of this um, because um, the Seven of Cups is, is wish fulfillment. It's, it's having all your wishes right there for you for the grabbing but it's in the reverse so it's almost like this energy that she's giving that this card is giving me is like somebody offering something and kind of surprising you which is in the unexpected because she looks a little surprised right there right but also Almost like you don't really want it, like you're surprised, but at the same time rejecting it, which is what we felt with, or what we see with the Ace of Wands in the reverse here. But this is in the reverse. When it's in the reverse, that bunny should be falling out of the hole and not surprising you anymore so it's almost like you're getting some kind of clarity maybe that is that is the message that this um miracle that you're gonna see 
and you were afraid but this miracle that you're going to see is going to give you clarity like everything is going to come out fully so you can fully see it so it's going to give you so much more clarity and you're not going to feel afraid anymore right and then you have the five of um of wands and the and this was also in the reverse so the five of wands is like a fight between people right and so if it's in the reverse you're ending that that difficulty you're ending that war if you're actually fighting hopefully not fist fighting right but actually in with difficulties with somebody that is going to come to an end okay so this um this miracle right here that is gonna come up in your life it's not only it's not only gonna give you clarity it's gonna help you with that fear and that and those difficulties that you're having all right uh, what do you need to hear follow your own rhythm I love that you do need to follow your own rhythm not only you need to follow your intuition you need to follow your own rhythm and for that we need to listen to our intuition and we need to listen to our bodies we have forgotten to listen to our bodies we are in such a schedule world right we wake up to an alarm before we want to wake up you know the the best thing for a body is to open your eyes when your body is ready to wake up right but it don't work like that and then you have a certain time when you have breakfast and a certain time when you um, have lunch and a certain time when you have dinner and then you have to go to bed so we don't listen to our bodies anymore people you didn't used to live like that you know it was a more flowing way of living before of course it's not very practical but it's better for you so children well some children because some children their parents you know schedule their life to death uh but children should be allowed since they have that much more freedom of their time to wake up whenever they want to go to sleep whenever they want to eat whenever they feel hungry and stop eating when they're satisfied right uh and that and we need to go back to that as much as we can to listen to our body so before you go into anything especially like eating right before you sit down to eat am i hungry or this is just the right time to eat and of course if you know that you're gonna go several hours without a chance eat something right but if you have the flexibility of, of eating at a different time just listen to your body okay and follow your own rhythm yeah that's what you there's so many like closing so many major arcana I'm just looking at the cards now because I, I have another one in my hand. So we have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. And we have 12 cards, 12 tarot cards. That's impressive. So this is a very important message. Okay. So this is number 20. So this is the justice card. Um, the judgment card ah oh, it's so hard for me to remember okay the judgment card <clears throat> and the judgment card is to me it's always the promise from the universe that everything is going to be okay is those people coming out of coffins and what's in the coffin is like your past life and when you come out of the coffin is your current life or your current you know what's going on in your life so if you want to change you need to come out of that coffin right you need to make some kind of adjustments in your life to make changes to to be in more alignment with the life as you see it right as the life that you want to have So what's, that's what you need to hear, not only to follow your own, um, your own rhythm, but the, the promise of the universe that everything is going to be okay. And we have still another major arcana here. 
and that's the number nine. And the number nine is the hermit. So what you need to hear is not only the, that, but that you need to have some kind of quiet time to recharge, to go back, to look at your life, to look at the lessons learned so you can implement them. Because that's what the hermit is all about, you know, is having some that quiet time and looking at the past. So, you know, the hermit usually has a lamp on this side because he's looking at his past and and he wants to share his wisdom with people that come after him. Now, this hermit, she's looking towards the future. So she's illuminating that future with the knowledge that she already gained from the past. Wow, that's a very strong energy right there. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, we also have the King of Pentacles. That's why I was looking which one is the Queen and which one is the King. But yeah, this is the Queen's crown and this is the King's crown. And that's like the last card. So the Queen of Pentacles is, uh, is a very gentle, but very grounded, very knowledgeable, very generous um, feminine energy and feminine of course is just energy it doesn't mean that it's a female in body uh so that's all the things that you need to know you need to know that you need to be grounded you need to know that you need to have some quiet time to 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 integrate the lessons and to and to uh show the light uh to others that everything is going to be okay and to follow your own rhythm listen to your body and follow that and then the fun stuff shaman death the fun stuff is that is the, the, that is gonna give you an incredible transformation that and the fact that you're going to see a miracle, that it's going to change everything for you, it's going to be able to release the fear, it's going to be able to give you so much more clarity that um, you're going to have an incredible transformation. And all oh, transformations are always great. You know, death is transformation. But the fact that it came in the in the fun stuff, it means that it's going to be great. That you're going to enjoy the process of the transformation, which sometimes is the painful part. So you're going to enjoy all of it. And then we have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is all about family and it's all about happiness with the family and it's all about fulfillment and it's all about joy and it's you know this and the and the sun and we have both you're going to be incredibly happy you're just going to be fulfilled you are just going to be fulfilled there's some messiness along the way but it always is there's always messiness along the way. This is another. Yeah, I think I counted it. This is. The twins. So you're not only going to be fulfilled, you're going to be with love, with so much love. You know, that's funny because you, I see the twins and that's the message that is giving me. But then I'm looking at the number, and this is number 12, and the 12 is the hangman. And if I look, they're hanging 
So, and the hangman, like, like it's almost in the, no, no, it's not in the reverse because they're hanging from here. So they already came out of that hanging position together, okay? So they already have that clarity. They are they are ready to walk away from the hanging position. And you are in, a, in the hangman position, not because you're stuck, but because you're being illuminated, okay? Because you've been thinking about all those things and being illuminated. So we got the same message with the hermit, right? That we had that moment of of quiet, of listening, listening to your own body, listening to your intuition, and you have come out very, very illuminated. And then the last card is the King of Pentacles. So you're not only going to be completely fulfilled, completely happy with an incredible transformation with love, but also with money. You know, the king of pentacles is the king that has all the coins. But he's also very grounded and he's kind and he knows what he's doing. Wow. I'm going to claim that. Yeah, I want all of that, including the messiness in the middle. I'll take it all. Yes, I will. All right. So let's do some TVs. I love that message. That's a great message. Okay, this one wanted to come out. First one, dolphin. Financial gain usually come in from something you did in the past. So you are being you are going to be doing something that is gonna give you financial gain, which is what I told you. You're going to become the king of pentacles, the guy with all the money, right? Dolphins are also water creatures that live not in shallow, live in the deep. So that's a lot of love. And that's a lot of connection too, to the divine. And then the last one is the ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So if this is, you know, I told you that you were going to be with love. And uh, a ring signifies the commitment, right? So I don't know if you're going to get married, married, marriage. I don't know if you're going to get married. You may, but you certainly going to have the commitment, which at the end of the day is what's important is that commitment. So if this, if we're talking about a business, you're going to have a committed partner who's going to help you grow and get all those coins. If we're talking about a relationship, a romantic relationship, you're going to have a commitment. Somebody's going to be very committed to you to make this work. And it's going to work. You know, the, the, the final uh, <laughs> row here is all the good stuff. All of it. That's incredible. Okay, I'm claiming it. There you go. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the video circulate uh, through YouTube and leave me a message. Any interaction that you do with the video, the thumbs and uh, and the comments help that algorithm. If Even if you don't want to leave a comment, leave me an emoji um, and, and I'll respond to all of them, even the emojis, okay? And if you like some um, guidance, some clearance, uh, 
for your own situation and you want very specific details about your own situation, put yourself in my in my schedule. I'll be more than happy to serve you. And with that, I'll leave you all till tomorrow. Bye, guys.